All right, so first of all, make sure that you have the Unity editor installed by going to the website, downloading the Unity Hub, making sure that you have a Unity ID set up. Then if the Hub is installed, we want to also make sure to download an editor version. So for that, first of all, make sure that you're signed in with your Unity ID. Go to Install, Install Editor and choose the recommended version of Unity 6 that the Unity Hub will show you. There's also a way to download pre-releases so beta versions as well as all the versions within the Archives Download Hub. However, we want to install in this case Unity 6.1 and make sure to have Android and iOS support installed as well as a code editor if you don't have already Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code or Rider are good options. Next up, let's create a new project. Make sure to have the right editor version selected as well as the universal 3D template. Then we want to name our project, set a location and create it. Next up, let's go to Window Package Manager and then within the Unity Registry, let's look for AR Foundation and install that into our project. After that, we also want to make sure to install ARKit, which is for Apple devices, as well as AR Core for Android devices. Next up, let's go to our project settings by going to edit project settings. And then we want to go into the XR plugin management and make sure that we have in the XR plugin management the right provider selected. So that would be XR simulation on PC. Google AR Core on Android, as well as the Apple AR Kit on iOS. Then in the project validation, let's go into all the platforms and simply click on fix all so that the settings will be automatically adjusted and we won't have any issues building to device. Then within the player settings, let's scroll down and make sure that our active input handling is set to both because sometimes there will be error messages when using some kind of plugins or assets. Next up, let's go into our hierarchy here. Let's delete the camera and create a new XR origin under XR, which is going to be our new camera replacement. And we also want to create an AR session. Now, finally, let's go to our window XR AR foundation and we want to open up the sample environments or XR environments and want to install all of them under the top bar. And now we can see that we have a whole bunch of XR simulation environments available for our editor. Then let's go to settings, choose the mobile renderer and add the AR background renderer, also in the PC renderer. Next up, let's simply click on play and we can see that we are already in the XR environment view. The only thing we need to do is tone down the light from two to one. And then if we hit play again, we have successfully set up our XR environment and our Unity scene to get started for AR development.